I have a huge surprise for my blue team today. We approach Bob's box, and one of the women is wearing a tutu, and I don't know why, but that excites me. I was like, where's my tutu? I would like to wear a tutu. No, I wouldn't want to wear it. Well, maybe. <laughs> hey, girls. Hi. It is all inspired by my girl, Holly Mangold. Holly Mangold is a current Olympic weightlifter, and Holly wants that second chance to medal in the Olympics. I want to show Holly that she can be smaller and stronger. Weight goes down, strength goes up. This season, I've been very inspired by the fact that Holly Mangold is on The Biggest Loser. And so I brought in some really close friends of mine. These girls are the heavier girls, and heavier meaning 165, right? You know, if I got down to the next weight class, I'd have to be that weight. This is potentially kind of your wheelhouse right here. Yeah. I'll just have to cut 130 pounds, whatever. Well, that's where I come in, Holly. When I'm trying to get weight off of her, it's scaring Holly. I have got to get Holly to reprogram her mind. When Holly stepped up to that bar and you saw her, her whole mind shift, everyone's eyes were on Holly. Whoa. Ah! Got a new move now. Yep. Yeah. I got the taste of the Olympics, but I didn't get that medal. And this is my second chance at getting that medal. And I think losing weight will help me do that. Yes, this was all about Holly, but they were all working out. They were all learning something. It's like, that's what I want to show people here at The Biggest Loser. Try different things. And if it sparks an interest in you that's going to keep you active, I mean, then I've done my job. This has been huge. I mean, a huge help. But I'm right. not worried that it's muscle that I'm losing anymore. That's what I've been trying to find from you today. <laughs> At the end of the day, seeing is believing. Holly saw it, and now she believes it. And that was my primary objective. <laughs> I'm going to miss Bob, I think, more than anything on this ranch. That's what's killing me most. I know I'm ready to go home. But like the scariest part for me is leaving this experience like with you. This like friend I found in, not, not just a trainer, but the friend I found in you. In my reality in New Jersey, Bob is not gonna be there. Hi, oh, sweetheart. And that's hard for me because he's held my hand every day. <laughs> I'm scared to go home already because I'm not ready to go home. You're not going home. You're gonna be just fine, okay? This season. I was really trying to be like, okay, I want to really try to keep it professional. And I'm just like, you caught me so off guard. You were standing up there in those first couple weeks and I saw how heartbroken you were. And I was just like, like it became like that mission. Because what I've always tried to get people to do is love themselves again. Because if you can't love yourself, how are you gonna ever be able to do anything for yourself? I'm gonna talk about this day for a long time. I mean, Amanda, You've won. Amanda has gone through so much, has grown up so much in this house. Coming off after this one. I can't go 8.5 without grabbing on. Yes, you can. No, I can't. Yes, you can. And I honestly believe that she has changed. Push as hard as you can. And I got to have a part in this. And it happened here at the Biggest Loser House. That's what this is about. I just sat down earlier and I just wanted to write you a little note, just so you know like how I, thankful I am for you seeing that potential in me. I did. There's a reason why America picked you. Because they saw it too. No matter what happens, you are my biggest success story this season. I needed someone like him and he came in and swooped me up and brought me to the end, and I can't wait to come back and just make him proud. I was looking for heroes this season. I found one of you. You know you're gonna miss this place, right? I miss you. You're gonna miss me. I miss you. I mean, we've achieved a lot in 11 weeks. A lot. It's more than I've done in my whole life. Exactly. Yeah. The fact that you two are here, right here at the finals, no matter what happens, I am so proud. You were like that father figure, that someone that you know you want to help mold you. You want to help 
develop you, and so that was one of the reasons why I wanted you to be my trainer. You have no idea how much that means to me. You have no idea. And I mean it. I know you do. When it comes to Jeff this season, I feel like I've inspired him, but what he probably doesn't even know is that uh, he's really inspired me too. Come outside with me for a minute. I can't believe I'm doing this right now, but you really affected me this season. I just need you to know that. There was just something in your story that really touched me. And I never want you to go back to that person that I saw in that video yesterday. He broke my heart, and I've not been able to quit thinking about him. And I saw him so sad, and I saw him just lost. I don't want that for you at all, because you're a good man. And I know wherever your father is right now that he is so proud of you because there's no way that he couldn't be. I feel like I really relate to Jeff. He lost his father at such a young age, and he was just looking for that approval for father. And it's like, like I found that I've spent so much of my life wanting that exact same thing. And for Jeff to look at me like that, I'm like, if you were my son, Jeff, I would be so proud of you. If there's anything that you need and you feel like you're slipping back into that dark place, I promise you, I promise you, I will help you and I will get you out of that mindset because there's a whole life out there waiting for you and I want you to get it. I always knew that there was more to life, you know, but I can honestly say that without you and without the influence that you've been on me in this short amount of time, I, I didn't think it was ever actually possible for me, but I mean, you've changed my life 100%. And I can't thank you enough. Nothing I can and will ever do can really repay Bob for what he's done for me. He saved a lot of lives over the years, and he definitely helped save mine. Thank you. Thank you. This is what The Biggest Loser is all about. It's about caring about these contestants, and I really, really care about these contestants. And I really, really care. I really care about Jeff, and I really, really hope the best for Jeff. I really do.